Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use COUNTIF function in Excel. COUNTIF function as the name suggests counts the number of values or the number of cells in a range when a given condition is met. So let me show you how this works. I type COUNTIF and I hit tab to autocomplete. This function oops this function takes two arguments. The first is the range where you have the values or the cells and the second is the criteria. So in this case I want to count the number of cells where the value is greater than 10. So I select the range, I hit comma and now I would key in the criteria. Whenever, remember whenever you use a mathematical operator such as greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to then it should always be within double quotes. So here I type greater than 10 and I close the parenthesis and I hit control enter and this gives me two because within these four cells only two cells have value that is greater than 10 which is B4 and B5. Now you need not only have values which is numbers but you can also have alphanumeric characters, you can have names, text, anything. So let me show you another example. I type count if and I hit tab and here I want to count the number of fruits which has A in its name, alphabet A. So I select the name of all these fruits, I hit comma and I type my condition which is asterisk A asterisk. Let me drag the tooltip down and I hit control, I press closing bracket. Let me explain the criteria first. So an asterisk means that there could be any number of characters which is represented by asterisk. So when I put an asterisk before alphabet A, this means that the name could have any number of characters before the alphabet A. And similarly I have one after A which means that it could have any number of characters after the alphabet A. So in totality this criteria represents any word that has the alphabet A. It could have any number of characters before it or after it. So now when I hit control enter this gives me four. Of these four cells this the result is four because all these names have the alphabet A in it. Apple has A, banana, orange, apple, all these names have A in it. Now what if I change this? Maybe say I change this to, oh no, let me change this to uh, some other thing. Let me type hello here and I hit enter. And now this gives three because hello does not have the alphabet A in it. Let me control Z to go back to the original data set. Here I have used wildcard characters. You can have the exact text in the condition. So say I type count if I hit tab and I again select the same range and now I give the condition A P P L E Apple and I type it manually in double quotes. You can also have this written anywhere in a cell and you can give the cell reference that would work uh, that was that would also work here in this formula but as of now for this video I have typed it manually. Now I hit control enter and this gives me two because there are two cells that have the, the word apple in it. Now let me show you something. If I press spacebar here and I hit enter this becomes one. Now you may think that both of these cells have apple in it. These are not the same because here I only have these, these uh, alphabets but here I have a space in front of it and hence this is not as this and this is not matching the condition. Therefore it gives you only one. If I go back and remove the space and hit enter this would return two. Let me show you one very interesting criteria which says that count any number of cells, count the number of cells that have anything in it. Any word, any number, anything. But it should not be blank. I'll show you what I mean and why is it so important. My criteria here is question mark asterisk within double quotes and I hit control enter and it, this gives me four because all these four cells have something or the other within this. Now let us revisit the criteria it says question mark asterisk question mark represent one character it could be any character but there should be one character and 
asterisk represent any number of characters. So this criteria would mean that the cell should have at least one character to be counted. In this case, all these conditions are met and hence this, get, this returns 4. What if I remove this name apple? This gives 3 because now there is only there are only 3 cells that have one or more than one characters in it. But what happens if I type if I type double uh, I equal to and double quotes which is nothing blank if I hit control enter this still gives 3 but had I used the formula count or maybe count A so count A counts the number of cells uh, cells in a range that are not empty you may think that this function would give you so here if I type A3 to A6 say this is the function that I plan to use I use it here and I hit control enter and this gives 4 this function is ideally supposed to count those cells which are not empty and this is giving you 4 indicating that this cell is not empty however this has nothing in it so if you have a condition where you by chance import some data set or get it from someone which has this uh, double quotes within it uh, then it is better to use count if with this criteria because this would exactly give you the number of cells which has one or more than one character in it so this would be neglected and only these three would be counted so this is how count if function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.